Hey everybody, so <clears throat> comments again. I have responded to a number of people who continue to call me a stalker, or continue, I mean, I've, I've heard this before, so it's nothing new, but they're, they're calling me stalkers again, <laughs> which to me I find funny because again, I have not seen Joy's channel in over six months, and then before that it was like three months, So and it's like I, I watched for like maybe two minutes. So how am I a stalker when I don't even really have to be honest, much of an interest to watch what she has to say, because a lot of what she has to say is just about getting fucked and, and doing silly shit, in my opinion. That's that's what I saw when I watched her last show. Like, so I didn't, I didn't, like, there's nothing, I don't really find that very interesting. You know, I thought at one time, maybe I'm mistaken, that I saw something in her that was different, that was in line with what I'm talking about. And so I've been trying to express myself to hopefully, because she's the only one. I've never seen any other female in my life that I thought would be more in tune and in line and, and wanting to do what I've been talking about doing than her. So I've just been like, hey, you know, like I'd love to see this work out with Joy, but if not, that's fine too. So all I've done is express that for my channel. I have not left any comments on her page. I have not left any comments on a comments page. I have not reached out to her on any other social media platform at all. Okay, so there's no pressure from my end going to her. This is all stuff that I broadcast from my signal, from my lane, just me speaking in my place. She comes to over here and chooses to watch. You guys come over here and choose to watch. You guys are the one putting pressure on me. You guys are the one fucking harassing me and giving me lies and having other people tell me, oh, she's interested, oh, she's not interested, da, 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 back and forth, back and forth. And then it's in my opinion that she also sends messages from other social media platforms to me with intent to be sent to me that continue to keep this thing fucking going or whatever it is i don't even know what the fuck it is anymore but and this is the type of stuff that you guys don't see but even without even seeing all that shit in order to be a stalker one has to like aggressively harass somebody and possess like obsessively like I, I say a few things but it's like okay yeah it's been on my heart but i mean to obsess about it like there's i mean we have to have a clear definition of what obsession is because it's not obsession i mean it's like it's a calling i mean I, I i feel like a kinship towards her but i'm not like i don't have like joy posters all over my room or anything fucking like that dude like y'all are taking it out of fucking context and it seems like you guys are coming at me in a negative way to try to fucking hurt my ass and again i'm the dude over here just trying to help fucking humanity out who's dealing with a sickness and getting over drug addiction you guys are calling me a fucking stalker when i haven't even been on her live stream or watched her live stream in a very 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 fucking long time it's really been over 18 months since I've really been involved in anything going on in her channel. And you guys are still calling me a stalker. This shit's ridiculous. And then I have people like Blow to Kiki saying that, oh, she's always been obsessed with you, Brian. It's like, what the fuck do you think that's going to do to a dude? You know, and then it's like, I have this guy saying, leave me alone, Joy. Like, didn't I just say that in one of my videos? I said, stop watching, stop watching. And I have these other fucking dudes saying, no, I'm not going to stop watching a serial killer and a stalker. It's like you're saying these things to try to incite more of a reaction out of me. And it's like if you look up the definition of a stalker, I'm not actually being a fucking stalker. You guys are being more like a stalker. She's being more like a stalker. She's the one watching me from afar, obsessing about me, speaking about me in such a way that it's got all these fucking men so motivated to come over here and fucking talk shit to me. When all I've been doing is trying to fucking work on my own thing and express a few little things about somebody whom I had feelings for. But when I continue to see shit like this, it's like, this is a lot of fucking, gar this is a lot of baggage, man. This is a lot to deal with. And I really don't like the fact that we're continuing to play out these petty, see, this is the thing about her too, is like, I've heard her see, I've heard her speak about so many other different men in her past. And it's like, I'm doing the exact same thing. All I'm doing is speaking about somebody whom I had communications with in my past. I'm not being mean about it. I'm not being intimidating. I'm not being threatening. I'm not being hurtful. I'm doing none of these things. Okay, and I've seen her do the exact same thing with Lawrence Anthony, with many other men, and yet somehow I'm the bad guy just because I got a dick. I mean, this is it's fucking ridiculous. So I hope you all have a good day. All right, bye.